Second Chronicles 16. In the sixth and thirtieth year of the reign of Asa, Baasha, king of Yisrael, went up against Jehuda and built Ramah, that he might not suffer anyone to go out or to come in to Asa, king of Yehuda. Then Asa brought out silver and gold out of the treasures of the house of Yahweh and of the king's house and sent to the to ben the, the king of Aram, Aram that dwelt at Damashk, saying, There is a league between me and thee, and there was as there was between my father and thy father. Behold, I have sent thee silver and gold. Go break thy league with Baasha, king of Yisrael, that he may depart from me. And Benahadad, Benahadad, hearkened to King Ahasa, and sent the captains of his armies against the cities of Yisrael, and they smote Ion and Dan and Avel Maim, and all the store, house, store cities of Naphtali. And it was when Baasha heard thereof that he left off building Ramah and let his work cease. Then Hasa, the king of the king, took all Yehuda, and they carried away the stones of Ramah and the timber thereof, wherewith Baasha had builded. And he built there with Geba and Mithpah. And at that time, Hanani the seer came to Hasa, king of Yehuda. And said to him, Because thou hast relied on the king of Aram, and hast not relied on Yahweh thy God, therefore is the host of the king of Aram escaped out of thy hand. Were not the Cushim, the Ethiopian, and the Lubim a huge host, with chariots and horsemen exceeding many? Yet because thou didst rely on Yahweh, he delivered them into thy hand. For the eyes of Yahweh run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him. Herein thou hast done foolishly, for from henceforth thou shalt have wars. Then Hasa was wroth with the seer, and put him in the prison house, for he was in a rage with him because of this thing. And Hasa oppressed some of the people at the same time. And behold, the acts of Hasa, first and last, lo, they are written in the books of the king, in the book of the kings of Yehuda and Yisrael. And in the thirty and ninth year of his reign, Asa was diseased in his feet. His disease was exceeding great, yet in his disease he sought not to Yahweh, but to the physicians. And Asa slept with his fathers, and died in the one and fortieth year of his reign. And they buried him in his own sepulchres which he had hewn out for himself in the city of Dawid, and laid him in the bed which was filled with sweet odours and diverse kinds of spices prepared by the perfumer's art, and they made a very great burning for him. Here endeth Second Chronicles chapter 16. Thanks for listening.